a disease of wicked proportion Love of money and gold It's cure will never be had continuation today of what's been going on for generations and f generations and generations. Uh, the word justice has never been, the concept of justice has never been achieved, it still hasn't been achieved. Uh, today is a, an especially, yesterday and today, an especially vigorous demonstration of how people insist that justice will occur. Now, later, but we're not giving up and we're not going home. I, I eat and I have a roof. That's more than a lot of people on this, that's more than most people on this planet can say. 
So, you know, the, the business of the 1%, um, I'm in the 1% on the planet, which makes me ashamed. But it's a fact that as little as I make as a retired teacher, uh, I'm in the upper 1% on this planet. That's, that says a lot. And it's even more impetus for being here because this country is not treating the world uh, as if it were made up of sisters and brothers. I would like to see the whole system changed. Uh, I would like the two uh, corporate parties to be thrown out. I mean, I, that's wishful thinking. But I, I think the Democrats and Republicans are equally responsible for what's wrong with this country and its domestic policy and its foreign policy. Uh, both parties have been in charge variously of the White House and the Congress and uh, have for generations and they have failed to do what's right. So why people continue to support them is beyond my understanding. Uh, corporations need to be lowered uh, in their status and their self-serving status as supposedly corporate personhood. They're not people. They might be made up of people, but the people who are in ExxonMobil and uh, Monsanto and so on, they can't have double citizenship, part of the country as individuals and part of the corporate personhood. That doesn't make sense. Corporations are not people, and it's, uh, it's, it's, that needs to be addressed because corporations uh, can be taken down and should be taken down. Mike check! Mike check! All right, I'm a police liaison. All right! Taking orders from the police. That does not mean I will take orders from the police. I am here. I am here to document. To document any and all. Any and all involvement or interaction. Involvement or interaction with the police. With the police. If the police talk to you. If the police talk to you. You do not feel comfortable. And you do not feel comfortable. Find the guy with the yellow band. Find the guy with the yellow band. Or woman. Or woman. There are many of us. There are many of us. Get us involved. Get us involved. We will take information. We will take information. We will videotape. We will videotape. We will hold them to accountability. We will hold them to accountability. That's all I have. I'm here because students like me don't have much of a future even if they pursue their education. Considering the job, uh, <laughs> sorry, it's a little distracting out here, uh, the job market and just we could pursue our education and we could be running a dead end job our entire lives and that's not something that I'm looking forward to so I'd like to change that.
personally why I'm here is because I'm sick of paying money into Social Security that I'm never going to get. I received a letter from the United States government with my annual Social Security statement telling me that by the time I was 62 years old, there would not be enough money for me to draw retirement. And the government advised me that I should start saving my own money right now, yet they continue to tax me. I'm tired of seeing soup lines on my way to work that stretch for about a half a mile while we ship jobs overseas and invite, you know, we have our borders wide open to whoever wants to come here and our government will give them housing and pay their way, yet we've got starving people all over the place right here. The American dream is, seems to be slipping away. You know, my parents, they owned homes when they were my age and I don't, I don't see that possibility. I live paycheck to paycheck and I work my butt off and currently, I don't make that much money. I pay almost $1,000 a month to the government and taxes. And what do they do with that money? Buy Lexuses and BMWs and drive around, drive past the soup lines where we the people are starving. That's why I'm here. I just want something to change. Because 1% of the population controls all the wealth while the 99% of us pay it to them.
Well, I mean, I think the problem is capitalism. The problem is that corporations have more power in determining the way our government functions than we do. You know, Obama's administration is full of, you know, Goldman Sachs people. When the, when the energy department needs to, you know, decide what it's going to do for, uh, you know, for an energy pipeline, they don't ask uh, anyone but corporate lobbyists. You know, the oil companies are writing our energy policy. The banking, the, you know, the banks are writing our uh, financial policies. That's ridiculous. You know, the way that campaign funding works, especially with the, you know, the Citizens United decision, the, you know, p politicians of, of, of both parties, you know, have to cater to establish financial interests in order to, you know, have the campaign funds that are necessary to, you know, to win. The, 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 the idea that we're a democracy or that we have, you know, any free choice between who rules this is ridiculous. Both of our parties represent a very narrow viewpoint and, uh, you know, both of them represent established interests, as, as we've been calling them, you know, the, the 1%, the people who have most of the, most of the wealth in this country. Uh, the, it's not that the, that the system's broken. The system is functioning perfectly. The system is supposed to distribute wealth in this way. And up until now, you know, the 1% has, has convinced us that we, we all have a chance at that, that we all have a chance of financial success. And now, I think, you know, the reason why we're all here is we're realizing that that's not true, that we need to change the system if we want to, uh, you know, have, if we want to have equality and actual freedom. I just moved to this city. I just moved to this city. From New York City. From New York City. And I want to thank you all. And I want to thank you all. For making this move so small. For making this move so small. So small. By showing me how unified this country is. By showing me how unified this country is. And by letting the world know. And by letting the world know. That a problem on Wall Street.
people to show up, not just join us on the internet. Come on out, don't be afraid, we're peaceful. Uh, it's a safe place for families. There's lots of donuts. There's lots of, lots of food to eat, um, and keep it coming, we really appreciate it. Love is, you know, the glue that, that binds us all together. So, I just want to bring it back to that because in the end that's really all that matters. And, and uh, I think that's what the 1% have forgotten, you know, in their greed, their selfishness. 
There is a disease of wicked proportion Love of money and gold